the only way to go toward change is to help communicate what you find difficult or what you would like to see change. Good morning, guys. Oh. <laughs> you, were... you didn't know I was vlogging? I thought you were asking me a question about the vlog. <laughs> oh, Mary had her audiobook on and I just asked her, can you uh, pause that for a second? She thought I was asking a question, but really I was picking up the camera to say good morning to you guys. Mary's right inside the door painting, but I've got a little buddy joining me out here on the deck as I uh, work on the vlog. Harry is just like soaking up the sun. We'll probably take him in here pretty soon so he doesn't get sunburned. But Ollie's also out here joining me for the festivities. It is a beautiful day, guys. Mid-70s, sun is shining. He's probably reached his sun quota. He reached his sun quota? You're gonna give him his bed? But you gotta go in your igloo. He's like, I love the sun. <laughs> um, yeah, it's beautiful out here. And I just keep looking at the grass and being really thankful for the green grass the plants on the wall i was thinking so the plants that are dying there it's the one there and then that one that little planter is full of them they were balloon flowers and i think their time is done i was wondering i was thinking about what could we get for the cold weather to put in there we'll have to think about that wonder if we'll take the mint and do something with that, take it out of that planter, take it off the wall for the winter. I don't know, but we are enjoying this beautiful day. Oh, looks like the vlog is playing while I'm not listening, so I better get back to it. All right, he reached his sun quota. We're gonna take him inside. All right, buddy. So far today, I pulled the Instant Pot out I cooked my spaghetti squash because I just like knew that I wanted to use that up. And Peter really likes spaghetti and spaghetti squash. So for lunch, I made the spaghetti squash and I noodled it. And then used about a half a jar of spaghetti sauce. And I found in the freezer, I was so glad I found this, pre-cooked, like I had cooked the ground beef with some onions and then froze it. So then I could just pop that in with the spaghetti squash and the sauce and put some mozzarella on top and baked it in the oven for, I don't know, 20 minutes or something. And he really enjoyed that. So I had already eaten, I made a uh, pizza, like English muffin pizza. And so I wasn't hungry when he ate lunch. That was, I just didn't plan that super well. But yeah, we still have leftover chicken noodle soup, which is so helpful, especially when I don't have an appetite. It's so helpful. You good? <laughs> it's helpful to have something that's already ready and that's easy to eat and hot and squishy. Super helpful for me. So I highly recommend making a big old pot of chicken noodle soup to have around. I am really enjoying the new set up in the plant room. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. As you can see, I still have the vacuum out. I need to vacuum the rest of the house or like some of down here and yeah, crumbs, crumb city. Yeah, he really wants to go back outside, but um, I don't want him to get a sunburn. It would hurt. I know you don't understand what I'm saying, but it's for your good. I love you so much. I remember what else I was gonna tell you. I, you can kind of see this tripod set up here. So I am doing a virtual research study, like a medical research study, and um, I won't be able to film it or really talk about what it is because research studies are all very like hush hush because it's in the process of research so we have one or two errands to run and then we'll be back in time for me to 
get on that research study. It's about like an hour and a half long, so I'll be worn out after that. But um, I try to say yes as often as I can for research opportunities, partially because depending on if it's a medication or a device or just verbal information, if the research study is asking questions about what's your experience with such and such a medication, I find that there are things that I wish I could change about my medical process or medications or devices. And the only way to go toward change is to help communicate what you find difficult or what you would like to see change. Um, I remember years ago, the home care company was sending me these port needles that had all this extra plastic on it, like uh, fold it up. When you take it out, you fold this plastic thing up so it doesn't, so the needle doesn't get you. It was so much plastic taped to my chest every week and I just really disliked it. It did not work well for me. And I remember I called the company to try to talk to them about it and explain why it wasn't working well. Um, it, I was pretty sick at that point and I ended up not having the energy. I got through to somebody at the company, but I wasn't able to like call them back or I don't remember what happened, but nothing, there was no resolution. So when I have research opportunities where I might be able to share about my experience, which might lead to change in the future, maybe not for me, but maybe for other patients, sometimes research takes a long time. And so, yeah, I try to do my part. It's also, I mean, they pay you for your time and I appreciate that. I really appreciate that the, some of these pharmaceuticals recognize the, um, what's the word? Like recognize our expertise in a way, because as the patient, you or I have more experience than the company that made it because we're the ones who has the needle taped to us 24 seven for weeks on end or whatever it is or the person who's taking this medication. One time, uh, probably nine years ago, I was I did a virtual research study like this, and it was in regards to how Kasten, how the packaging is for Kasten. I'm pretty sure because it's been so many years, it's fine for me to say this much. But do, if you guys have been on Kasten before, you pop the lid off, and then you peel this metal part down, and it's, really difficult, really dangerous. I have bled before because of this mechanism. And they, what they did was they sent me all these different test bottles to try. Try the blue cap, see what you think. What does that feel like? Is that easier, is that harder? And I was so excited to be a part of that. Uh, yeah, I just, I like to know the process. I like to hear about it. Um, we toured Vertex Pharmaceuticals when we lived in Boston, years before I started on Trikafta. And I remember going through part of the building where they show you how they make tablets. That was mind blowing. That has nothing to do with research. But anyway, those are my thoughts. So we gotta go, come back in time for me to get on that webcam right there. All right, we are back from our errands and thankfully Peter is making sure I have everything set up right for the research study. And now my head's starting to hurt. So I'm really hoping in the next 25 minutes before I go on that research study, maybe some coffee will help my head. I am so thankful the fatigue has been so much less, which makes me really think and wonder if it was still recovery from that virus we had in March. Either way, even on days where like this afternoon, like my head's hurting. Yesterday I ended up taking a nap. It's, it wasn't the like total fatigue feeling that I had had the last few months. Uh, I'm just really thankful. 
and I become more aware of it like today where I'm not like I'm not feeling super super great right now but it makes me think oh I am so thankful I am not as bad as I was a few months ago holy moly an hour and a half long virtual research study later holy moly 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 it's exhausting just to be on Zoom for an hour and a half being thrilled about this research project. I cannot imagine those of you who have been working on Zoom, like on meetings for months and months, I'm sending you all my high fives. I cannot imagine how much, like those of you who have to be on Zoom to, like all the time for work, just the headaches. Thankfully my head is feeling better but I'm totally exhausted. <laughs> Woo wee! All right, um, I'm hungry. I think we're gonna have a special dinner. our dinner and that's our day and as always we'll see you tomorrow good night good night guys Hello. Hey, Bonzi. can you say good night <laughs>